Like, happened only like three minutes. And they want to talk shit about this generation. Well, this generation. You know why, though? Because they were also in college doing that shit. They were also 24, 25, because 20, that's what it was about. It was about college and shit. They were in college when that. These niggas is fucking at 14. It's a big difference. Babies have Some babies. big difference. They were fucking at 14. Babies have babies. They are. Freak Nick was 26. I mean, 25, 20. I mean, yeah, they was young. They were they was younger, young, but, young, but these but... kids now, they there's kids in college town now at 16. There's kids in college town. They're gonna be kids in college town tonight that are 16. Sickening. Sickening. So yeah. Freak and then, Nick. And then you got the 30 year olds out there who, trying to talk to all of them. Matt Weary. Who started this college town shit back up? The it's the kids. Do you that... remember? Do you remember like a couple years back though, like 16, 15, 7, like Back then, like when College Town was lit, no, it was actually because, calm lit. No, like you know why, with all the white people when they used to throw. You the don't gotta whisper white. With all the white people when they used to throw the rate. Like it was, it was even that. You know why though? Because it was niggas in college actually over there. Yeah, the niggas over there now aren't even in high school. Oh, They're not yeah. even, and that's the crazy thing. Like, niggas over there aren't even in high school. I remember so the whole it's just a bunch of niggas that's lit. over there. Just over there because it's college time. They're not over there because they're in college. When we was going, it was lit because, oh, my man crib right here and, and he got four roommates and we know it's gonna be lit in there. And like and then it was party here, after party we'll after party. Because it, it, it was parties mm-hmm. inside of cribs. These niggas are on the block. Yeah. Doing nothing. They're just on the street not on top of a, niggas' cars. Not paying attention to their surroundings. Oh, getting shit, shot. It's, my nigga, it's, just oh, mad, it's, it's, it's too shit much shit going it's on. It's smashing. It's, it's, it's OD. What's that street rate? Right? You know where the liquor store is on the Hamilton? corner? Not uh, Hamilton. The, uh, no, Hamilton. Uh, uh, yeah. No, not Hudson. The one. It's Hamilton. We Hamilton. That whole shit was, police cars was blocked off from front to back. Whole shit was lit. I was like, what the fuck are y'all doing? So they just they just out there. I mean, again, don't I ain't hating. Like, have y'all fun. It's not even about hating. Just be it's safe. Like, y'all dangerous. That shit, that shit is just dangerous. It is it's just because I just know that there's kids out there. Like, I, I remember last year, I had one of my baseball players out there, and he's 15 at the time. And I know he was out there because we had cooking class the next day, and he yeah. was telling me about it. It's just scary. You so, can't even go out and enjoy though, yourself yeah. no more. This is weird because everybody just, some of them niggas just. Oh, bro! Like what too you old. But, but to you gotta, like, I, like I kind of said earlier with the Marcus Houston thing. Women their age know these niggas are cornballs. <laughs> Young girls don't know these niggas are. Yo, your niggas are corny. That's a fact. If they won't tell you, like having expensive clothes and that shit, just that shit don't. And just adding no, cologne bro, on top of a nigga who don't wear, who don't wash his ass. Like you putting on expensive <laughs> niggas shit. Niggas will go a week without washing their ass. Like That's it real. doesn't have. Super drip on, like, and the bitches gonna be like, "Oh shit!" Yo, you know how many, oh, that takes, nigga, that nigga's broke. He don't got no money. He don't. T- no, he could have all of that. No, he won't though. But he could have. Portray the. He could have the money. He could have his clothes could be real. His Amiris could be real. His car could be expensive and paid <laughs> off. That does not uncorn a nigga. It does not. <laughs> that does not make you less corny than who you were, my nigga. You can have all the money in the world. Women your age went to school with you. They know you're a cornball. It's ball. not impressive. It's the girls that are 19, 20, 21, 22 who don't know well, that he, you were a cornball with me. money. He's you know what happened? This. Scamming happened and niggas got money. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. You corny niggas started scamming and got money and became cool. That's all that happened. Niggas put on cool. Niggas put on designer and said, I'm winning. I'm up. I'm cool. I'm lit. Niggas. No, you're not. You have to spend money to impress women. Let me tell you something. That makes you a cornball. Let me tell you something. A moment Niggas will put all this stuff on, but don't got shit to show for it. They don't got a, their own crib. They don't got their own car. They car. They might got their own car, but they don't got their own car in their own name. They don't got no fucking credit. They're not investing. They just just bums. Just bums. We gonna go outside. We gonna. Impress these nineteen-year-old girls with no credit, no crib, no. Oh, you no. want to come back to my mom's house tonight? And they could have, they could have <laughs> all of that. I it's my thing is, no, I hate nineteen-year-olds though, but I do. You see have what I'm saying? Cars, you see what I'm saying? Though? Closet like, full of. My kids, thing is, they can have all of that, but it does not <laughs> make you less corny. You can have, you can have money, you can it have the house, not. you got a car, you could, you don't got to live with your mom, mm-hmm. you don't got to live with nobody. It does not change who you are. You know what money? Money doesn't change you. It amplifies who you already were. Right. 
If you were a corn without money, guess what you're going to be with money? You're going to be a a cornball with money. A super corn. Because all that happened. Niggas started started (laughs) zoning. And and I love that niggas started zoning. My thing is when you niggas started getting money, that should have did more with it. You niggas got money and bought expensive clothes. And now we in college now impressing 19 and 20 and 21 year olds for what? Because they know them bitches is gone. They gonna go. go they Target gonna go. And get For what? Crazy. Bro, nigga, I, and, and the, bro, I think I paid. I think I might have paid. Got, bro, I think Target I might have paid. Heat. Yo, bro, I might have paid seventeen dollars for this. Maybe like I don't even. It might have. It came with these, so probably like I don't know what I pay. Like bro, these fucking sweats got forty bucks. Like Target guy. Heat. Oh, oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Target, oh, Cat and Jack. My mother said that though. She was like, <laughs> she was like, even when I had the, the the BMW, she was like, you can hop out that shit with all fake shit on. Mm-hmm. Who gonna know? Gonna, and they never know the gonna think because of who you are. Who gonna know the shit? Because shit, Ocho Cinco, what Chad Ocho Cinco say? He said, man, oh my everything, dude, everything shit. I have is fake. Right. Because when they see me, they're going to expect they're it to be real. They're going to expect it to be real. Ain't nobody going to check Ocho Cinco shit to make sure it's real. No. Man, it's be wild. Hell man. But that's my thing. Like, you don't. Maybe the I'm jewelry. Yo, that's, hey, that's just it's just my thing though. I just hate thing. that shit. It's just like niggas that it's just some old niggas that pry or prey on the on the young girls because y'all got no other options. They know they're nigga. gonna go. They have that's hundred no percent right. Bro. You're not gonna be able to walk up to no grown ass woman. I should, and that's open funny, your mouth should, and them not. That's how that niggas I only shoot that woman older though. than me. That's my maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I view at it differently because I've only shoot that woman older than me. Like I, my nigga. I would run circles around these young girls. If I started talking to a 22-year-old, there's she she doesn't stand a chance. No. Nah. Respectfully, my nigga. She does not stand a chance. I deal with women in their 40s. You want a girl, a woman in her 20s, I'm going to, I'm gonna dance on her brain. I'm <laughs> gonna get her know? to do whatever I want. Like, what are you talking about? You wanna about? know what I learned? I'm gonna fucking no, two-step on her Hold. noggin, my nigga. Sure. What are you talking about? You know what I learned? You know how easy that is? That's Us, easy. Like, women. Like strong women, strong headed women, you know what I'm saying? Good women. Like, they, you know, we always question ourselves, like, why do oh, men not take women like us serious, right? I no, no, no. You, not that. I'm, I don't want to cut you off. This no, I'm just saying I'm wrong on that because now that I think about it, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still not attracted to like the younger girls and shit. But now that I think about it, it's the girls that are like 20, 21, 22. That's really killing shit out here. Like, that's really getting to a bag. That's really running it up. They the ones with two cars and they own crib. There's some bitches that's 30 and 40 living in fucking, I won't say where, but. Why know why? Because they're in competition for nothing. When when we could be getting it back together, why are we in competition with each other? It doesn't, it doesn't make, it doesn't make no sense at all. But I think that a lot of these niggas nowadays go for younger bitches because they're stupid, like, and they can control them. They saying. can't. That's why when you said dance on their brain, hundred percent, they can control them. Circles around. They're gonna give them money. They're gonna make them. They're gonna make them fall in love with them. They're gonna give them money. They're gonna give them place to rest their head. They going They gonna do whatever for these niggas because they don't know no better. Do you know? A they, 19, don't, they can't spot a bum. A nineteen year old. First of all, I'm a conversationalist, so it's gonna take me thirty sex to get through a nineteen year old's head. She ain't that deep. She ain't go through that much. A twenty year old. You ain't go through that much, you my nigga. Really it's gonna take me like a few that. questions to ask you, and that shit is over. Like, so you, what the fuck am I doing with a a twenty two year old? Like, I'm gonna run circles around you. I can literally just cook a meal, and you probably gonna do anything I ask. You gonna be in love? Yo, clean this over house, a meal. my nigga. Like, mm-hmm. I can get you to fucking clean you know, change this tire. Like, <laughs> I can get you to do whatever the fuck because I deal with women in their forties. Like, you think that, uh, what is a girl in her 20s? Gonna, I, that shit is just weird. But again, I think I think like that because I deal with women that are older than me for the most part. Mm-hmm. I don't see what the infatuation with younger women. Again, I'm only 29. So even if I wanted a 25-year-old, 24-year-old, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I'm no. all the way within my rights. It's just, yeah. I don't see what niggas in their 30, 35. Like, again, if you in college now... Getting money, whatever the case may be, that's one thing. I guess by all But means. if you out there, no, that's not even true either. Because if you out in college town getting money, that's okay. But now we're playing, like, what do, what are we doing? Now you're also playing a, a slippery slope. You're playing a For dangerous sure. game. Because your shit might be A-OK, but the nigga next to you, nah. And that shit might get linked to you. Like, you're still playing a dangerous game, so mm-hmm. you just got to be safe with that. Mm-hmm. But I just, I wouldn't ever understand Seeking out a younger woman, like I don't know, man. I'm, I don't know. I'm weird. I don't. I don't. I'm that's, fucking weird. That's not weird. And I'm not dealing with a younger woman because they want to have that's sex all day. They want to have sex 
four times a day, and they want you to text them back immediately, and I can't do neither. No. I can't do neither. Mm -hmm. We got shit to do. Yeah, I can't do neither. We got shit to I do. I can't text. First of all, I can't text you back. Yo, you know what's crazy? I was just thinking about this shit the other day, right? I remember when I used to love texting. Mm -hmm. Loved it. I could text all fucking day. Yo, my nigga, I cannot stand texting anymore. Like, you would text me and that shit will sit there. And I and I and I responded to it in my head 40 times. <laughs> it's just the fact that I gotta type this shit out. And then you're going to respond back. And then I got to respond again. Exactly. And now we're going in this back and forth thing that I don't want to do no mm -hmm. more. Like, is there something that you used to love to do when you were younger that you just hate now? Like, can you think of anything you used to love to do like, when you were younger Winter. that you absolutely fucking hate Winter now? Winter used to be lit. Like lit. Sledding. All that. Hmm, let me think. Like, something, you, something you loved as a kid. Or not even necessarily as a kid. Maybe five, six, seven years ago that you just fucking hate now. Being outside. Facts. I, I used to love me. being outside. I used to love doing shit. I will sit on my couch every day now and watch TV or do some shit in my house. I just hate being... I went outside last night. I had fun because the person I was with, we had a blast. But, bro, there was literally nothing out. I was just like, what? We got to the bar and they literally started shooting. I said, you got to be shitting me. Madison. That, I mean, what bar on Madison they shooting at? Madison right. Bub. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. Crazy. But it was that's right around the corner from college. It's right around the corner from College yeah, Town. So yeah. it's like, I was that's, just like, what? I said, no, we got to go. My going outside, for real. There's too much violence going on. For nothing. So I literally seen the nigga die in the club. And I said, yeah, that's it for me. Obi. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. Like, unless I'm going there to get, like, money or something, or it's, like, a real reason for me to go outside, I'm cool. That shit, that, that party that they had outside, though, shout out to my brother, Ciroc. He texted me, because I tweeted. I didn't know who party it was. I did not know who party it was. So I tweeted. I said, I love a good scam. Charging niggas for a party that's outside, outside that I can walk up to is insane. But I didn't know who party it was. And it's my man party, so shout out to him. Like, I text him back. He's like, yo, bro, that was my shit. So I text him back, like, yo, bro, run it up. I don't care. I love a good scam. But you charging niggas $8 and some shit I could walk up to? Right in. So, like, let's say 200 people paid. It was 1,000 people there. 800 niggas ain't paid. So if I'm one of the two, I'm... I'm a little upset. I think I, I think they're here. having. Yeah. I live right there in that. And my thing was funny is because they were trying to keep it low, but you know everybody on Snap. We from Albany, my nigga. So it's only but so many so spots that look like that. And I know where that's at. I know my nigga. That there's a big ass building right behind everyone. Right. I know where that building is. Right. So, you know, we going <laughs> there over was there. One, everybody Snap had that one building. But I said that's facts. That's I know facts. where that building is. I that's might right. not know where y'all are, but I know if I go to that building. And go right I to think the they left. Having another one tonight. Right yeah, they got a pool. They had them my thing is, no, no, nah, it's a day party though, so it's a little bit different. And I do think it's dope. The idea of it is dope, but they have to, they just have to think it through more. Like they have to get the, they have to get the idea down better because my what I've learned is day one is always perfect. It's day two that get fucked up because mm -hmm. not everybody. It's it's Everybody. always when when you have that one party the first day you're like fuck it we can run it back. Yeah. It's always day two that Everybody goes wrong. Coming. It's right. always day two that go. That's why I'm saying it, it could put that shit off the next week. Make that right. shit once a month. Right, right. But if you are you if you're gonna run that right. shit back right. every. You, you asking for it. Because now, asking yep, the cause now they're going to be because like, they yo, know, so and so and so was there. They're they going to be not, there tonight again. Niggas didn't I, know about it. Like, niggas knew it was a day party. Niggas didn't know where it was. They didn't even send out the location till the time it started. I had people, I knew people that was going who was like, yo, I don't got the location. And it's five minutes before it started. Like, they sent the location right before it started. Everybody know where it's at now. So there's no way of stopping people from showing up. They Again, I hope nothing happens. Like, that's by the like, time y'all hearing this, by the time they hearing this, it's gonna be, it's already gonna have hat. By the time they hearing this, it's gonna be out. You can't stay at the same spot. Like, yeah, you definitely around. gotta move back. By time, oh, by time this goes out, party gonna be over already. So hopefully there was no incidents, nothing went wrong. Everybody made it out of there. But I, from experience living in Albany and being outside of Albany, I know that day two of a dope ass party 
it 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 just gets scary. Yeah. It, it just it I just agree. it just gets real. Maybe it'll be a little better. Real scary. Maybe it does. I mean, again, I, I hope it do because I think Albany needs vibes like that. Like again, I, I, I was just talking shit when I said I, I like a good scam because. Um, I didn't know who party it was, but once bro hit me and said, nah, that was my shit. So, all right, I literally well, said I fuck after with it. last night, I'm going out of town from here on out. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going, I'm going yeah, out I'm to the city, city vibes from here on out. City, nah, Jersey. It gotta be. That's Because that's this it, shit though. is, this shit is nasty. That's it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not mad at that's, that. That's the wave. It's like, it's out of town or it ain't. Like, and it's mad I'm shit you could do down in there. The crib now, me too. Like, not spending on money. Calm anymore. night, wine, chilling. In the crib, yeah, at least listen to the music that come out. fire show. Mm-hmm. Shit, so I said, do y'all at least listen to new music that come out when y'all in the house not doing nothing? Do y'all yeah, watch TV? Like, what are y'all in there doing? Y'all better not watch Snowfall. I'm spoiling nah, that shit. Nigga, the only thing I watch is fucking Power. You ain't watch Snowfall? Lie. What? I think you I'm it? definitely done with them. Oh, we about, about to go in. I'm just but you ain't gonna get there. Oh, oh my God. We was about, yo, why you do that? No, I had to catch up. I had to catch up on I had to catch up on Power. anybody watch Snowfall? Go ahead, bro. Right. No, nah, I'm just saying. Did anybody watch it? Because I'm not. Gonna, I didn't watch. I'm it. not gonna talk about it's it. It's over now, right? Nah, it's one more episode. But that's what I'm saying. I want to talk about it for the fucking finale. But 